I'm Dr. Radhika Sheth, consultant fertility and IVF specialist, practicing in Cloud9 Hospitals, Mallard and Vashi. I've been practicing fertility and gynecology since the past 12 years. An IVF cycle typically consists of four phases. The first phase is where we are developing multiple eggs, that is the phase of egg development. This usually is started on the second or third day of the lady's menstrual cycle. We give her hormone-based injections daily for a period of 9 to 12 days with the aim of producing 10 to 12 follicles. Once these follicles, which contain eggs, have reached a mature size, say about 17-18 millimeters, we start the next phase, that is a one-day procedure called ovum pickup. This procedure is done under short general anesthesia. It's usually done on the 13th or 14th day of the lady's period, where with a, with a, it's a very short surgical procedure where we retrieve the eggs from the lady's ovaries. So the second phase was ovum pickup. Once we have retrieved the eggs, the third phase is embryo development in the IVF lab. This is done by injecting the lady's eggs with her husband's sperm or simply keeping them next to the husband's sperm as in conventional IVF so as to develop or create our embryos in the IVF lab. These embryos are, are created in an in a artificial condition simulating the human body in all respects. Once these embryos are developed, the next process is transferring the good embryos back into the lady's uterus by a procedure called embryo transfer or ET. This embryo transfer can either be done fresh in that particular cycle or in certain cases we advise frozen embryo transfers if we feel that the lady's uterus cannot receive the embryos due to some issue regarding her receptivity, we then freeze the embryos and delay the transfer to a remote cycle later.